Section 2.4 is uh, explaining graphical solutions. So if you have a function f of x, which is an equation that is equal to zero. Previously, for example, we used to say y is equal to 5x plus 1. And he wants this the solution of this equation, so you're equal to zero. We used to solve by, uh, by, by solving for x and then get the value. But here, if your equation is something big, like for example, x to the power of 4 plus 2x to the power of 3 plus all this, they are using um, um, uh, scientific uh, software or a graphing software, so the equation will look something like this. So here you will know that your solution f of x is equal to 0. So when the y is 0, you have two values of x. You have two solutions, which is around 0 0.5 and minus 2.5. And in some equation like this, for example, a cubic equation, you have three solutions here. So you have uh, like 2.7 or 2.8 and you have 1 and you have uh, maybe minus 0 0.8. In learning point two, if you're solving two equations, for example, if you're solving f of x is equal to g of x, uh, you can here do take g of x to the other side, so f of x minus g of x is equal to zero, or you can graph both equations and see where they intersect. So here, for example, he's giving you uh, one cubic equation and one linear equation, and he drew both. This is the cubic equation, and this is the linear one, and they're intersecting in three so your solution is these three points this is for example one and this is uh, like minus maybe minus 0 0.9 and this one is maybe three so you have three intersections and these three intersections are your solution for these two equation in an example like this you have two intersections which is this point and this point this is another example where he where he put all um, the equation in one uh, side and equal to zero in the other side so expressing this as two equations equal to each other for example minus x squared plus 4 is equal to this absolute equation this is a quadratic equation it is opening downwards because this is a minus and the uh, vertex is 0 and 4 and this is uh, a linear equation two linear equations and the vertex is minus 2 and 0 so you can draw both equations and determine the points of intersection in learning point 3 he's solving an equation and he wants the range that is greater than or less than another equation for example f of x is greater than g of x or less than g of x this is a given example. So you have this equation, which is drawn in this graph like this, and he wants all the values that is less than this equation, which is drawn in this. So here I can see that all the values on this line, starting from the zero and going to one, all are less than this equation. So zero less than X less than one is, is a solution to this set of equations. Another curve here, all the values here are less than this equation. So all the values x is greater than 3 also solves the equation. And here, this also in this all range, this equation is less than this equation. So from x is equal to minus 1 and all the values going to the left. So also x less than minus 1 also solving this equation so here you have three sets of solution all the points on this curve or all the points of this curve or all the points on this curve all of them are less than the equation in this interval this example is an application why do we need to solve uh, equations for example he's giving you here this curve is the population and this curve is the food production and he's like, he's asking, when when do I start to have a problem? I will have a problem when the population is more than the food. So starting from this point, your population will be higher than the food uh, production. So starting from here, you will have a problem, which is approximately 30 billion. So when your population is more than 30 billion, you will start having a problem. Or when you're uh, in years, it is here. 
you can say maybe after 105 years you will start having a problem where your food production is less than the population course practice 2.4 question 1 consider this equation he wants to select which is the correct figure he took the quadratic equation separately and the linear equation separately so here this equation is already in the standard form which is y equal to a absolute x minus h plus k your vertex is 0 and minus 3 so 0 and minus 3 and a is positive so it open up upwards so this might be correct this is 0 and minus 5 this is wrong this is 0 and 2 so this curve is wrong this is 0 and 1 so this curve is wrong so I already fr knowing from the first equation that this is the correct curve Type. trying the second one also here y equal to minus 0 0.5 x squared plus 5 so here your vertex is 0 and 5 and this is minus so your curve is going down so 0 and 5 your curve is going down this is correct this is 0 and minus 3, so this curve is wrong. This one is 0 and minus 4, so this curve is wrong. This is 0 and 2, this curve is also wrong. So you know that this is your correct two curves. And if he asks about, I think part B, he's asking the roots of the equation. So here, where is where does it intersect? It intersects at 2, this point. 2 and 3 and this is minus 2 and 3 so your intersection is 2 and minus 2 so the solution of this equation is x equal to two, minus 2 and x equal to 2 please remember you're getting the solution so that means the values on the x-axis question 2 he already gave you the graph for this equation y is equal to 1 minus x plus 1 all squared and he wants the roots for this equation so this equation he already drew you the quadratic part so we can draw the linear part or the absolute part so let me uh, paste here this equation so minus absolute x plus one minus one minus one again which is minus two plus x plus one all square equal to zero i'll take this part to the other side of the equation so i have minus x plus 1 minus 1 is equal to my uh, this will go to the other side positive 1 minus x plus 1 all square i just took the quadratic part to the other side so i have here minus x plus 1 minus 1 so minus x plus 1 minus 1 i have this is in starting form it will be looking like this the vertex is minus 1 and minus 1 so this point is minus 1 and minus 1 so this is my vertex point i'll take any other value let's say when the x is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 absolute 2 is 2 times negative so minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 so when the x is 1 the y is minus 3 when the x is negative 2 negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 absolute it will be 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 so minus 2 and minus 2 so i can draw this is my linear equation it cuts here and here so my solution is minus 3 and 1 minus 3 and 1 is the roots for this equation question 3 he already gave you the graph for the function y is equal to f of x he wants f of x greater than or equal to zero he wants the value of the y all the values of the y that is greater than or equal to zero which is all the values here here it's negative so starting from this point starting from x is equal to two all the function f of x will be greater than or equal to zero so two itself is with me so x is greater than or equal to zero then the function will all be greater than sorry x is greater than or equal to 2 so the function f of x will be greater than or equal to 0 question 4 he's giving you that the graph for the function f of x is drawn here so this is y which is f of x another function he said he, it's a line so this is the line function g of x so this is g of x 
fill in the blank he wants f of x greater than or equal to g of x only here starting from here and going upwards this is the function f of x it is greater than the linear function b Below this, below 3, below x is equal to 3, all the function f of x is less than g of x. Only after 3, it is getting more. So, x greater than or equal to 3, the function f of x will be greater than the linear function g of x. Question 5, he's giving you a function f of x and he already gave you the graph for this function. He wants f of x less than another function. What is the values of x from 2? So x plus 1, absolute x plus 1, I can draw this function. My vertex is minus 1 and 0. Minus 1 and 0 is my vertex. When the x is 0, the y is 1. When the x is 1, the y is 2. So this is a linear function, so it will go with all these points. And on the same way, the other side, it will go also through all these points. So, when does the quadratic function falls below the linear function? Only here. Only here, the curve is down. Remaining all, the curve is up. So, from x is equal to 1 until x is equal to 3, only in this period, your quadratic function is lower than the linear function. So, from 1... To 3 this function f of x is less than this remaining all values it is more question 6 is giving you a cubic function and he already drew it on the curve uh, which of the following could could be approximate values of the roots one of the roots of the equation and he's equaling to zero so he, he wants the x intercept so i have three points here this one this one and this one this one is easy it's minus 2 so minus 2 is one of my values this one is little bit minus like minus 0 0.5 or minus 0 0.4 here I don't have I only have minus 0 0.4 so this is the correct one this is like 2.1 or 2.2 or 2.3 with a positive or 2.4 so this one is not this one no this one no so this is the only uh, correct answer that I have which is 2.2 4 minus 0 0.4 minus 2. Taman 1 minus 1.3 is something here. I don't have any intersection here. 3 is here. I don't have intersection here. And 0 0.5 is here. I don't have intersection here. Question 7. The graph of a cubic function f of x. He already drew you the graph. He also drew the graph of a line, a linear equation, y is equal to x. This is the line, y equal to x. Select the correct. First one, the equation x plus 5 has one root. Where x plus 5 will come, I'm shifting this line 5, five uh, units upwards because this is positive. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this line will be parallel to that line. This is will be my new line, x. Uh, this one, x plus 5. And it will be parallel to this one. So it has one root. Yes, it will only cut this cubic equation in one point only here because this will be low all of the others will be lower so this is correct the equation f of x is equal to x which is your exact line has three roots i have here one i have two i have three yes this is correct the equation f of x is e uh, f of x x minus two has three roots x minus two i'm shifting this line down two units so one two i will try to draw it parallel it will be something like this taban if this continue it it will cut here so it has three roots yes i have one i have two i have three roots the equation x minus five has two roots x minus five i'm shifting the line five downwards one one two three four five so this will be and it will be parallel like this it intersects in this all will be up it will intersect in one point only 
here it says it intersects in two roots so this is wrong x plus 4 has three roots x plus 4 i'm here one two three four it will be here it will be near to this one it has only one root because i will not reach this so all this will be down so it has only one root he said here three roots no the equation f of x plus one has two roots x plus one i'm here my line will shift one it has three roots i have one here one here and one here so this has three roots not two so this is also wrong question eight below are the graph of x minus three uh, square this is a quadratic equation and absolute x minus one which of the following is the set of all values for this one greater than this one the quadratic equation is greater than the linear equation here and here so for all the values that is x less than 2 it will be greater which is this one and all the values x more than 5 here it is going higher so this also is correct anything else is wrong so x less than 2 here all these values will be higher and x more than 5 all these values here will be higher x is equal to 2 and equal to 5 it will be equal he want greater so you only have less and greater there is no equal here question 9 is the basics which is very easy he's giving you this equation he wants the slope the x-intercept and the y-intercept the slope is the number in front of the x when the y is alone so the slope is minus 2 the x-intercept when the y is 0 you can solve it or you can put the equation in the standard form so here 0 equal to minus 2x plus 3 this will go to the other side it will be minus 3 so x is equal to minus 3 over minus 2 which is 1.5 this will cancel 3 over 2 is 1.5 is the x-intercept so 1.5 and 0 y-intercept when the x is 0 the y is 3 so 0 and 3 Question 10, he's already telling you, solve graphically. You have this equation, he drew it for you. He wants, what is the positive root f of x is equal to 0? He wants the solution f of x is equal to 0. So when the y is equal to 0, I have two points here and here. This is minus 3 and 4. So I have two solutions, minus 3 and 4. Question 11 is the same. He's giving you the graph of this equation. What is the smallest root of f of x is equal to 100? When the y is equal to 100, f of x is the y. When the y is equal to 100, I have two solutions. One here and one here. Which is minus 1 and minus 3. So here he's giving two times. So I'll put minus 3 and minus 1. And I have another one here. This is... Five. You can, uh, sorry, this is 6, so this would be 7. So 7 minus 1 and minus 3 are 3 solutions when the y is equal to, or the f of x is equal to 10. You'll draw the line, you'll see where it cuts. These are your 3 values.